or else it just the Department of Energy does. The purpose of this is to show you how to use your imagination. A foundation in science, technology, engineering, and math. Developing these technologies for science. Climate change. We're talking about energy. Big dreams. Clean energy is the way of the future. This is Direct Current. Hi, everyone. This is Matt Dozier from Energy.gov. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you who listened and sent us your feedback on the first episode of Direct Current. We were floored by the great response and can't wait to share more stories with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do tell your friends. You can find us on iTunes. If you like the podcast, you'll enjoy all the energy and science related content we have over at energy.gov. Check it out. We'll be back soon with another episode. While we're hard at work, we wanted to give you a taste of what we've got in store for upcoming shows. Thank you again for listening, and we'll talk to you soon. Clear and present danger. Sandy swirls along the East Coast. 433,000 homes and businesses are still without power. The National Guard arrived late last night to help evacuate residents in Hoboken, New Jersey. It was a very challenging time for our community. It was difficult to even have the power for our police station. We couldn't get fuel into the city to power the generator. It was a senior that literally cried on my shoulder and just said, I can't leave here. Like, the, there's not even any lights on in the hallway. There's not an exit sign. I can't get out. And she was literally crying. It was an idea that I had based on the experience of Sandy, and it was, you know, came out of conversations uh, with the various federal representatives that came through and um, eventually developed into an opportunity to create a microgrid and work with the Department of Energy. If you had been to this part of Africa, then you understand what electricity and what clean cooking fuels really mean to the people. You get to a village where after six o'clock the whole place is just dark. Life comes to a standstill. You cannot get out of the house. When you see that, then you realize that these people are really going through hell. Governments have many virtues, but speed and efficiency are not often among them. I don't think our role is to make decisions for the government and tell them what to do. It's more to improve the decision-making process. The need for electrification is so huge and growing. This isn't a question of giving them subsidies, you know, throwing money at the problem. This is exactly the kind of targeted support that I think a lot of governments really need. Right now, the only ways that we do personalized cooling are with typically really inefficient methods. And what would be the most convenient part of personal cooling? So to have it wherever people are, and a device that would be at least mobile or maybe even able to follow may be the answer. I see this project as an opportunity to make a difference. And what excites me is the conviction that if it works, it will really matter. Yeah, thank you very much and let's get to work and let's make this thing happen.